Welcome back. We're having our fourth and final segment this morning, and we're in our studio kitchen, of course, with Chef Ainsley, no stranger to hello, us. Hello. And Chef, I already see the ingredients here. I see the hot cross bun. I already know what that means. You can't have your hot cross bun if it's not Easter time, all right? That's true, that's true. All right, well, I want to say, of course, thank you so much for taking out your time out of your busy schedule and stopping by with us and cooking up some uh, Easter breakfast. Easter breakfast, and you know, well, I always bring a little twist to it, you know, Of so course, we don't expect I anything less. I always try to get me creative, because with this right here, so, uh -huh. uh, we got three kind of bun here. We got a heavy bun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a garifuna bun. They are the one, the old school way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also, we got a light bun. Potato pong, cassava plastic. And now, one of the, one of the um, stuff there where people look forward to is like, right now, we're going to market cassava hard with fang, yeah. sweet potato hard with fang, because people want a dessert. Then Let's also, go back a bit. Go ahead. Chef, what is the difference between the three types of buns you just shared with us? All right. The Garifuna bun, this one, the real old school, this is the one where I grew up on, you know, because it's the one where I got the a yes, right. Then you got the heavy bun where you bake before, and then the, the lighter bun that go um, the longer process to bake, no? Okay. But all three of them is nice, but my favorite is this one. The Garifuna bun. It takes you back bun. to your, yes, to yes, your roots, yes, no? Yes, you know it. But <laughs> what, speaking of roots, we also have some Sahal here. It's also yeah. 19th in this studio kitchen. Well, I like I like a purge, you know? Like, um, like, this, is, well, this is one of my favorites. I, I drink this like three times a week, you know? Wow. I like it for agony and both of muscles, And you know? if you're wondering <laughs> what that is, he has with us some Sahal. Now, is that, that a treat? That so is a treat, is I'd say, how my myself. <laughs> and I usually drink that in my calabash instead yes. of coffee. Yes. I go with that right there. All right. Well, Chef, talk to us. What will we be preparing this morning for an ideal Belizean Easter breakfast? All right. So, first of all, I got some asserted ground food. Mm -hmm. We got the purple yam, one of my favorite again. You don't see it much, but it's always coming at the market. Because I like to promote healthy food, so I go yeah. with some... Um, Boil plantain, Irish potato, sweet potato, and also I got a little can. So I got a nice little combination there. And uh, we call this over here ground food. Yes, uh, why? Because it comes from the ground, except the plantain, of course, and, yeah, the, and yeah. the corn and all of that. But uh, ground food, okay? <laughs> I mean, everybody can do it different. You can that mm -hmm. can go good with some kalalo rice. You yes. can do some cilantro rice. You know, you can do darasa. Anything you think about. But I just like to go healthy because I prefer recommend um, the starch that is nice than yeah. you know the. Rungs. Yeah, yeah, good starch. All yeah, right. And it's very organic. <laughs> so we have our hot cross bun. We yes, have uh, a grown food. What's our choice of protein this morning? Well, for protein, I got my fish on. Then also, I got some bell pepper. But before, we, before after that, we're going to share, cut this cross bun. Cause we make sure we're going to try to kind of like to rub it with the happy cold cheese. Ooh, yes. okay. So glaze it, right? So for that now, I got a nice red snapper. You know mm. what? Well, Beautiful. Naked chicken, we promote a lot of fish. I mean, mm -hmm. th that's the spot that you can get a nice fish and chips. You can get a nice fried fish at in the evening menu. And also, I got a nicely takari, takari, some yellow ginger and stuff mm. that goes over that. But let's get to work. So Let's get to it, chef. I'm going to cut this fish in half because um, this is... Now, wow. Isani, I have to ask you, what's your choice? Legger, absolutely. <laughs> Taylor head. <laughs> whole Taylor fish. Head. Whole fish? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Whole fish. But I I'm order from tail. Chef list, whole fish, right? <laughs> <laughs> Most people, I, they, I like they choose between, you know? They, 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 they have folks that like the tail. They have folks that like the head. Mm -hmm. I'm a tail girl. I like tail. <laughs> so I'm simmering that long with coconut oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to brown that. Then I'm going to nicely... Caramelize it down, no. Then mm -hmm. also, like what else? I have one here already. I do it two. I do it two kinds of two, two ways. I got one bake in the waha leaf. Mhm. Mm Why do you bake it in the in the waha leaf? Waha leaf. Um. All right. What 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 I get from this? If you can smell this, smell the flavor from that um, mm, waha leaf. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. This is, this, this, is, this is what um, people would use to make tamales with. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you don't know the tamales. I mean, in, in um, Dongso, they usually make tamale in the lone wahali. So when yeah. you open it up, it's the There's lone no wahali. Aluminum yeah, yeah, no just, aluminum yeah, foil. That's the wahali. real, real deal. Okay, I have another question, Chef, because I, I know um, tamales to be made from plantain or banana leaf is waha just another word yeah for it's that? a bigger leaf and then they smoke it and that's that's the one that give it flavor you don't only can do it with fish you can give it with you can do it with chicken you can do it with 
pork. I do it with a pork leg, wrap it okay. up, marinate it down with Kinda some Kind of like anato. when you do pibil. Yes, I, you right. know what to go on. <laughs> you, you look like you got an idea about the kitchen. Yeah, no worry. I, I have an idea what's happening here. Now, you love to, to bake your fish, and you also love to use uh, all the colorful veggies along with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because um, I I one thing I always remember from um, one, one, sh one chef that I was working with, mm -hmm. way back, you always say you eat with your eyes. So mm -hmm. to impress someone, yeah. you, you know. That that's true. Yeah. That is true. That's that's uh, another way to a woman heart, and yeah. I love that. I feel so good. About that. Well, yeah. you you've gone as far as uh, opening up a restaurant to to get to the latest heart, if that's what you call it. But what what's currently taking place over at Naked Kitchen? Well, Naked Chicken. Chicken. Naked <laughs> Chicken. We're opening. Um, we're opening today. We'll go on right to until Saturday. Take a pause on Sunday and back on Monday. Opening hours is from 11 to. When the food done, and it always done quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, then in the, night, in the evening, I open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Mm -hmm. What are you known for at your restaurant? So, Beer so butter kong sweaters. Okay. Beers and cilantro and conch and garlic, you know. The full works. Full yes. works, yeah. And I what I also tea. appreciate about you, though, Chef, is that, of course, we, we know that you're probably one of the, 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 the faces that you look for during the 19 celebrations yeah. for your sahal and your hoodoot, but you make that all year round. Yeah, 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 because people request it. And I got a lot of Americans who come in and follow me on Facebook and Instagram and they request it, you know, and I love to make money, so they just give me a call and I'll take care of them. That's my job. Never a dull moment at Naked Chicken, right? <laughs> and all right, of course, so. with, the Easter, with the Easter meals, is this something uh, that we primarily expect every year from Naked Chicken as well? Um, I do, every day I do something different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every day I do something different. I don't, I don't do cross bun, but I got one of the cooks that in the kitchen who take care okay. of the cross bun. And yeah. She's the boss on that. I know if I would put that um, saying that I'm doing cross bun, I, gotta, I, gotta, I would definitely got a Long line there. Yeah, that's true. That what, is, what is the most sought after food item right now in the Easter? If you go to Naked Chicken, what are people asking for from you? Fish. Mm. Fish and chips. See, like today I'm doing fish with plantain chips for today as my special mm -hmm. with a nice vegetable salad and a nicely vinaigrette dressing. You know, mm -hmm. can't go wrong with that. And also I have a crusted cassava mm -hmm. and I got a crusted plantain. So I keep it simple, Caribbean. Yeah. yeah. And it's thing that you cannot find both and both in the city because I, I, I create, I go sleep and by the morning I don't got a couple ideas what you I'm doing. You have an idea of what I you want to do. I love that, I love that. So this yeah. is, this is, a, just a minute, yeah. I can just, right, right. just play up this spot here while. All right, so this, uh -huh. this what I'm doing here, it's very easy. I, I love mm -hmm. to people try this at home. You know, it's very, very simple. The steps that I go through, if you notice, I season my fish with salt and black pepper to taste. No mm -hmm. lot of different seasoning because I want to get the flavor of the fish. Right. Sati, dung. This is some takari and some coconut milk. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice. Right, bubbling. Yes, I. Uh, if you, want, if, you want, if you want, you could chop some okra in or that, you know, you could, you can do whatever you want. You yeah. can get creative, you know, you don't have to do exactly. Maybe if you do your own favorite, it tastes better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I don't but think I love coconut can milk. touch the flavor. It's hard to beat you, yeah. It, it's yeah, hard but to beat you, chef. You see what's, what's going on there now? This is, this is going to be like a nice little reduction. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, when you're done that, that can go good at rice and beans, coconut, yeah. right? But what I'm doing today is going to serve over grown food. Yeah. Okay. So you can't go wrong with that. That is off the hook right now. Mm -hmm. You've been in this business for a very long time, Chef Ainsley. What has been uh, your drive to continue each and every day or each and every year? Well, the compliments that I get from people and also the compliments from I get from um, all the people who is in it and they motivate me because, you know, I gone through it with COVID mm -hmm. and that was the time I would, you know, either if I would continue or to go on a pause, but I didn't give up, man. Yeah. Five o'clock yeah. in the morning, get up, you know, every no, day. I'll tell you this, right? <laughs> <laughs> for, for anybody who does not know that, that you and I share a long history, chef, yes, I I mean, from childhood, right? Um, but it's the work and your work ethic, bro. Like, yeah. I've seen Chef Grind, even on days when we want to hang out with him, he don't have time for hang. He <laughs> straight yeah. to the shop, 
Get it done. And I'll that's give, admirable. I'll give a running joke uh, to our viewers. Whenever I see Chef Ainsley and Isani together, I automatically assume that they were cousins. <laughs> Guys, let us know. Can we get a wide shot? Look at these gentlemen here. Yeah. Do they look related to you? Wait they look from, like cousins yeah, to me. Yeah, actually, we're both from PG too, man. All right, see, there, we, there you have it. If it's like Boom Allah, we're related. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Very good, very good. So we're waiting for the ground food yeah. to, to start boiling. That ground food, I'll already. I'll, um, I already pre cook it already okay. for time, so I um, already start that. So, meanwhile, I started. I just want to so, try it. It's a hole. It's a hole. Hmm. 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 As we know, it they put back, right? Yeah, they put back warm and nice. <laughs> I'm loving this. I love Saho. <laughs> Only on Channel 5 you get yes. the love like this. So, yes. viewers, don't be. Afraid to yes, stop by a naked chicken and request <laughs> this stuff, you know. And you, you have toast, Saho huh? every day. I toast it, you guys. To make that, like, toast, you yes. have Saho every day? No, no, every day. I'm not doing it. No, 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 make no promises. You can't I'm going to have Saho tomorrow. Okay. So, <laughs> so cheers, cheers, guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Man. Porridge dung. Woo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm going to back warm and slow. <laughs> this is so <laughs> good, guys. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Excellent, I love it. Excellent. All right. So, what are mm. we doing next? So, I'm going to plate up now. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what to start with. Um, Let's start with. I want to do a presentation with the cross bun and I want to do one with the fish. Okay, Let's well, start, start with, with the cross bun. bun. All right. Yes. Cross All right. bun. All right. So, so we got the happy cow triangles. Yeah, there. the happy cow triangles. I have a question, and maybe this uh, I could get an answer from our viewers. Why do they call cassava cake plastic cake? <laughs> Why not our good one? <laughs> yeah, this Why do deep they history. call that plastic cake? Please let us know in the comments, guys, because of course we have uh, Chef Inza here not only giving us uh, an actual full course uh, meal, but he also provided some dessert too. Yeah. And that, of course, is uh, the well known potato pudding, also called potato pound, but cassava pudding, also called plastic, plastic. cake. Yeah. Where's the plastic from? I really want to know. <laughs> and right. our choice of ground food this morning is Irish potatoes. Mm -hmm. Some carrots. Some carrots. Sweet some potato. Sweet potato. potato. Sorry. <clears throat> some sweet potato, corn. Mm -hmm. That is the... Yampe. You got the white, you got the white yampe and the purple mm -hmm. yampe. Purple All yampe right. and plantain. Ground food. I've done this so I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> And our fish is just about finished there, it looks yeah. like. Then you got the habanero. We're not bust the habanero. We'll save that for last. Mm. Yeah. You can't have fish without Ooh. habanero, bro. Goodness. That is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Can't get this no way. You got to gotta go my naked chicken to get this. <laughs> and the price of fish right now. You'll get the, the entire fish? Joke. Yeah, you get a whole fish. Mm -hmm. We don't cut your shot. We got filet. <laughs> We got how corn. you want it, yeah, right? How you want it. Hmm. I don't even think I could finish that. <laughs> Looks so fancy. I get Drizzle it. Drizzle it. Now. Drizzle it. <laughs> That's a beautiful meal right there. And then we got the big one in the waha leaf. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye bye. Time to go in the stomach. Hmm. Say bye bye. We already <laughs> taken freshly catch coming yesterday. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. And of course, Keep there's still. a how on the side. <laughs> there's no better treat than that right yeah. there. Where Can't is the fork? Wrong. Where is the fork? We need to try mm -hmm. this. <laughs> we Chef, gotta try this. This try is this. stunning. This is delectable. Mm -hmm. We have here, of course, your breakfast meal. Mm -hmm. And you have lunch or dinner on the side if you want to go with that as well. Thank you so much for bringing a, a complimentary sahal yeah. with us this morning. I know this isn't something that they get every day, yeah. but you will be having it tomorrow, tomorrow mm -hmm. as well for, for persons who want to get their dose of that sahal. I, I'll tell you, it tastes amazing. It tastes mm -hmm. really good. Um, and, and also we got the dessert, the potato. And, and yes, the of course, and the our plastic. dessert. Our yeah. potato pudding, our plastic cake. Again, exactly. viewers, please let me know. Why is it called plastic cake in the first place? I still want to know. <laughs> but, Chef, remind us again how we can get you and uh, what's going to be on the menu today and, of course, for the Easter weekend. You're working the, on the Easter weekend? Yeah, well, um, I'm opening on Saturday. Saturday, I got a nice 
special that people love the grilled big bone and also okay. I got grilled fish you know I tried to do healthy food again like what I say so yeah. I got a grilled fish with your coconut rice and beans with docono and I got a nicely pasta salad so after the race you could go right the naked chicken and cool our vibes and chill out you know mm -hmm. nice you know you're gonna definitely invite um, enjoy that I have a table of six or eight mm -hmm. to make a reservation you know natural juices food and good nice view of the mahogany. Nice van. <laughs> the mahogany street never sleeps, right? That's <laughs> correct. It's Busy day and night. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, for you, what's your favorite uh, dish to go with during the Easter holiday? Because I know you make so many things on yeah. a daily basis, but mm -hmm. what's your dish? Well, yesterday I gave a Jew fish head, mm -hmm. so I'm going to make a nice fish tea. Mm. Yeah, nice. 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 Any seafood, I'm not allergic to, so I'm up for it. Mm -hmm. Always up for it. I got to agree with Chef Ainsley. Mm -hmm. I grew up um, uh, trying fish tea. Of course, uh, I always insert that when I can. I had a village gal, so I know about the fish tea, and I, I remember my grandmother making that, and you mm -hmm. get that with a fresh flour tortilla. Yeah. That's my Easter meal, and I always look forward to that. But of course, I do like my hot cross bun, yes, too. Uh, this is my first time learning about uh, light cross bun and, and, and garifuna cross, and, and garifuna heavy cross, cross bun. One. Heavy <laughs> cross bun. Still not sure how you make it light and heavy, yeah. but I definitely have to say I love the tradition that we're keeping here. This is a part of our Belizean culture, mm -hmm. our Creole culture, our Garifuna culture, and uh, it's authentic. And I, I think all of us are looking forward to that this weekend as well. Yeah. Can we order anything from you, um, maybe for a large amount over the Easter weekend, or is it for too Saturday. late to do that for Saturday? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I always take on the challenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't back down. I got a staff who motivates me also yeah. so the yeah. work always there and you know we push for it yeah <laughs> nice man nice so all uh, right to tell everybody enjoy the easter and take care and be safe mm -hmm. and you know take care on the road if you're traveling take care in the water if you're yeah, at sea exactly right. exactly yeah. that's true all right well thanks so much chef for stopping by for allowing us to do a, a, a uh, what's it called? Naked chicken, Naked chicken. Uh, makeshift yeah. in, in our studio here. We appreciate it. I'll use this opportunity since our viewers didn't see to showcase uh, the, the dessert this morning because we, we spoke about what's here on display, but we're not even showing yeah, the dessert, yeah. man. <laughs> Look at this. Potato. You make this yourself or yeah, is it your yeah. help? Yeah, I make that myself. That is what I got on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll be, but the bun, I got the cook in there who did it, and you know, I got to hold up this. This this looks so good. Yes, it does. So. <laughs> But the viewers could just look at that. Nice combination. You know, making potato pudding that's hard work. Because you have to grate the, the yeah, potato, yeah, right? Yeah. That's 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 hard work. Uh, cassava should be a bit easier because yeah, it's softer, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I usually pay someone to do that. That that's part I just everybody wanna make a little dollar. You have to mm -hmm. outsource it. Yes, uh, yes, uh. That's good. That is good. <laughs> All right. Well, Chef, thanks so much again for stopping by. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. This is the best way to kick off our Easter, Easter. at least over here. Yes. Yeah. Um, also, thank you for my Sahal. And we look forward to getting some lunch from you this afternoon. No problem. And, of course, uh, over the weekend when you'll be open as well. No problem. <laughs> I, my job is to take care of that. Yes. <laughs> all right. We want to say a special thank you to all of our guests who stopped by this morning. Isani, we had a jam-packed show. But uh, nonetheless, it was enjoyable. We spoke yes. about all the ways that you can be safe this Easter, mm -hmm. but also how to conserve energy yes. uh, from the Belize Electricity Limited. We also even had a winner there talking to us about energy conservation tips. She really sounds like she works there at BEL. Yeah. But Congratulations of course, Congratulations once again to yes. Serena Huchner. Congratulations to her. Let me know how that humidifier works, because <laughs> I think I want one myself. And then we wound, we wound things down perfectly with mm -hmm. uh, an Easter meal. And and, um, of course, we had several options. You have your breakfast option with the hot cross bun. 
You have your lunch option with the ground food and the, mm -hmm. and the fish. Of course, you can do this with dinner as well. And then your sahao, you don't get that often. <laughs> um, but thank you to Chef Ainsley for stopping by as always and uh, lending a hand and sharing with you, our viewers, how to get those amazing dishes together for the Easter or whenever the season is. It is March the 26th. Yes, it is. The 27th. 27th. <laughs> and it is Wednesday. Uh, our producer told me that I said Thursday. I promise I'm not to live that good. But <laughs> it is Thursday the 27th. And if you are celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday to you. And if you'd like to give a birthday shout out, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can send us an email at oye at channel5belize.com. You can also catch us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ, as well as Instagram at OYE Belize. Thanks so much for joining us, and please do us a favor and join us tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. It's our Easter special, so join us again tomorrow as you open your eyes. To start your morning right. Until then, keep your eyes, your mind, and your hearts open. Have a wonderful Wednesday.